Hey YouTube, it is Dion. If you have been here before, welcome back. If not, welcome. And if you love chocolates, you don't know what's going to come out of the box, <laughs> so subscribe to my channel and also click the notification bell. I haven't been uploading lately. Oh my gosh, it's just been crazy, but I'm not going to babble. I'm going to show you most of what was in my BoxyCharm box. And I'm saying that because the mystery item was the eyelash curl with a really pretty sparkly one that looked like um, the packaging on the Glam Glow Gentle Bubble Wash. So that design pattern or whatever. I already sent that away um, as a free gift with something that I sold on eBay. So I don't have that. But what I do have, we know it's all natural, BoxyCharm. My variation, which I know you cannot see, is number six. And what I have, which I was really excited to get, which everybody got, was the Butter London palette. My base face is done from earlier today. I just got home like 15 minutes ago, and so I primed my lids. And so I am going to do a look with this palette. This is Femme Fatale. Temptress. Diva. Star, Queen, and Enchantress. Am I pronouncing that right? Enchantress. Sounds like a tongue twister. Sorry if I was blinding you with this plastic. The other item I received, which I'm going to put on right now, is another Ofra lip gloss, which I like the glosses. This color is Santorini, and it looks really bright. I do not even have moisturizer on my lips right now, so I don't know what this is going to do. I have not even opened this yet. I did open the palette because I wanted to just see it in person. But this is my first time opening this gloss. I don't want to blind you with my mirror. But I also want you to see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to dip again. I think I'm liking this color. It has like a vanilla-ish something smell. Which is not strong, so it's not bothersome. And this is a liquid lip. So we'll see how it feels when it dries down. Which should feel like the other one, right? I like this color. I need to build it up because I can see my lip color through this gloss and that I don't always like. So it's like either co cover my lip or not and if not then why wear it? So that's Santorini. It feels nice right now. It does. It feels really good. And I have neglected to tell you the prices. I did put this on um, my box variation on Instagram. And my box is retailed at $135. The gloss is retailed at $20. The Butter London. I didn't even say the name of the palette. Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $32. The Elemis... Why is this name so long? Elemis Superfood Vital Veggie Mask. This retails for $35. I did use this last night. I can say it did not break my skin out. I have very temperamental, very sensitive skin that does whatever it wants to do. And I'm starting to sweat and I am starting to get shiny. Um, as with most masks, you put it on a clean, dry face. And so I washed my face, patted it dry, put this on. It says leave on 5 to 10 minutes, and it would help if I put my reading glasses on, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. So I can actually not look like I'm blind by squinting. Remove after 10 minutes with a damp, dark cloth. What concerned me was that it said it may stain fabrics. And I'm like, do I want to put something that may stain fabrics on my face? And so I almost didn't try it. And I'm like, <laughs> and another thing that concerned me is it says a slight tingling may occur while the mask works its magic. 
I don't want it to tingle because then for me that means an allergic reaction and so that the possible tingling and it may stain fabrics are the two reasons I almost didn't try it but I did I put it on it wasn't quite a tingling but it was a, it was a something but it did not burn I did take it off after 10 minutes and I can say with the one use it says use twice a week I did not notice a difference in my skin I did not have red patches I did not break out it did not burn my face did not feel any cleaner than it felt when I washed it before I put this on it didn't feel any smoother my skin didn't feel any tighter it was like okay what is this supposed to do <laughs> but I will continue to use this because this may be one of those products where you need to use it a few times before you notice any results but as I said the good thing is is that it did not break me out it did not irritate my skin and so that to me will cause me to continue using this and you do not really need a lot of it either so I'm thinking this may last a while this is 2.5 fluid ounces the other thing I received which I think everybody did were the brushes <laughs> These brushes retail for $30. Before I forget, the eyelash curler retailed for $18. And that was the Pro Eyelash Curler. The company is pure. Back to the brushes. A box of chocolates. You never know what you want to get. I'm scattered. I'm all over the place. Life is hectic. Welcome to my world. Thank you for being here. <laughs> I really do mean that. I appreciate you guys when you watch and comment on my videos. Um, this one, and I like... I like the I like how the handles feel. The brushes are soft. I I washed them yesterday. I got this. Well, actually, I got it when I was away. So I opened the box yesterday, and I always wash my brushes before I use them. So I did wash them because I wanted to use them to do a look with the palette today. This one is Luxie number five ten. This is a foundation brush. I saw on Instagram someone used this to apply the mask, which I thought was a good idea. But I don't use these type of brushes for foundation. So I may use it for concealer. I may use it for eye primer. I'll find something to use it with or setting powder or something. I'll find a use for this. And, and it is really soft. It is. This little doohickey here is number 246 and it says precision crease. You see how big my crease is or how little this brush is? This is something if I used some of the bristles are longer than other bristles and it's like one hair this one was like this too where it's like a, a few straight hairs but this one is one in the middle that's longer than the rest okay i just pulled it out which isn't good because that means they may shed but anyway i always digress this one i i don't know maybe in a corner or maybe under my brow bone but i'm going to try it today with shadow and see but for crease maybe if you're going to cut crease because then you can make a really straight line if you're going in this way for the crease going this way i think this would work well if you have smaller eyes but we will see about that one <laughs> this one i laugh when i see it it is number 250 large eye blending i have never in my life seen such a blunt <laughs> square <laughs> blending brush <laughs> and so I'm curious to see like how this thing works and it's I but it's really soft though and this one has straight hairs also that are like it's not cut even but it's just huge I've never I'm, I, we'll see I do have other brushes here in case I need them for the eye look that I'm going to do. That's everything that was in my BoxyCharm. I'm liking this lip. It feels a little dry but not bothersome. It doesn't feel like my lips are going to crack, but it definitely dried down. It's not transferring, patting it, which is nice. Okay, so I primed my eye with, I need my mirror. I'm always like this. I primed my eye with the Fenty Primer. The Fenty Eye Primer. So hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to use this brush. Hopefully this will not be much longer. And this does have a mirror that goes the length of um, the top part. And I love the packaging. It's hard plastic. It is magnetic. I did drop this already. And it didn't, and nothing shattered. So we're going to go in with Diva. I do wish that 
either this one or this one with a matte to use as a transition color because I don't just want to go straight in with this one because I don't know what it looks like yet as far as the um, intensity of it. So we're going to go in with Diva and I'm tapping my brush straight in and we're going to see what it does with this big ass square <laughs> blending brush and it seems to be working well. And I'm sure you guys cannot see that. I am so sure. I record on my phone. I don't know like any of the Zoom stuff or if my phone even has that. I don't use video editor. I am like so behind the times with all of this stuff. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to do pictures because even when I take pictures in the landscape mode, when I post them, it comes up in portrait mode and so there's is there's just no consistency when I do pictures and videos I'm getting shiny you see my face I know you see my face all right so now we're going to go in with temptress and I'm also going to put this in the crease it picks up really well and I'm doing the same thing I'm just dotting it in and then tapping it and we'll see what this does if it plays well with its sister and it seems to be playing well it's coming off, I don't even, I don't even want to try to describe a color because I'm not good at describing colors, but it's not looking brown on my lid and maybe because Diva is a shimmer. So that may be affecting how this matte color is showing up. But it is blending well. I really can't blend and swirl because of how square this is. And so I feel like I'm forced to just do the windshield wiper motion with this big ass square blending brush I don't even know if you guys are seeing any of this what else is going on in my life I went on vacation last week and I was supposed to come on Wednesday and the vacation was extended another two and a half days I got home Friday at like 11 20 ish at night Saturday my partner and I slept almost all day. I was sleep earlier than usual. I was sleep by one and I think we woke up uh, woke up at 10 but we didn't get up I don't think until 11.30. We went out to Hibachi's um, sushi and steakhouse place and then we came back and took a nap. Y'all we were tired <laughs> and we slept for like another three hours. We were so tired we didn't even have sex when we got back. <laughs> <laughs> we were so tired <laughs> but anyway to you bye welcome to my channel and then when we got back up he um went, went home because he had to go what did he want to do oh he has a garden and so he was anxious to get back to the garden and plus you know you want to when you come back from vacation you just want a day to yourself just chill out acclimate to being back home getting stuff done that you left undone you know doing your laundry or whatever other projects you have to do Oh my gosh, I am like super shiny, sweaty. This is the, I have on the Milk Gripping Primer, the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. Hourglass Translucent Powder to set my under eye concealer. I have, I use the Sephora Bright Light Something Gel Serum Concealer. Set that with the Hourglass Translucent Powder. And then I have on the Fenty um, Setting Powder and Cashew. And then I use several of the Fenty bronzers for my face. And I use, I think, a NARS highlight and a NARS blush. And the Cover FX setting spray. Do you think it's working? Like this whole, <laughs> my T-zone. Okay, so I do like how this works because I do feel like I have a lot of space right here. And it did cover like all of this space. Um, I'm missing a lid brush, so I think I'm going to try and do a lid color with this one. I'm going to go for it and use this bluish color here, which is Pen Fatale, Femme Fatale. This one, excuse me, and this is a, a the only other matte shade in here. And I'm thinking I may have to 
switch brushes because this one is too fluffy for it to be as intense as I would like. I thought there was a spider on the wall behind me and I know you guys probably can't see it. Oh, because it's up here. There's a nail. I took my plaque off the wall because it was showing in a video. And then this mirror, when I moved it, I'm like, what's that moving? <laughs> what was a spider? It's a nail. Yeah, I'm going to need to do another brush to get this color on to my lid. But I do like this for my crease color and for my transition color. So I'm going to switch to a Sephora brush. This one, I do not see the number because I don't have my reading glasses on. their large flat shader this one is old I've had this probably over 10 years I kid you not and I like it because it's large and even though I have a I, I, I I'm I was looking at eye shape videos again and I do believe now I have a standard eye because when I look you can see my lid all the way across but because I have extra skin here it kind of hangs down so I've always just said oh thanks babe my partner just texted me welcome home starting to edit okay so I'll text him back after um, so because I have the extra skin there this is kicking up in the pan which means I am getting fallout and I see it on my face even though I'm padding Yeah, so I know with this palette to do my eyeshadow first. And it's falling out because it's extra on the brush, even though when I dipped it in, I tapped it and there's some kickback. In the, it looks messy here. I, it probably didn't pick up on there, I'm sure. So this is what this look looks like right now. I do have fallout on my face. Oh my gosh. I don't have like any tissues or anything and I apologize. I know this is not cute. <laughs> I don't know how they do it in those hot climates and their face doesn't move. Like what do they do? I look at tips and tricks on YouTube and it doesn't work for me. I just dropped that brush. Alright, I'm going to take <laughs> this little brush. This was from BoxyCharm or something, this little tiny little pencil brush and I'm going to, this palette is looking a mess right now, I'm going to take that same blue Femme Fatale and just run it underneath, and this is not working, underneath my lower lash line. I didn't bring any eyeliner or mascara or anything. I just wanted to see how this palette performed. I'm not liking this blue because there's a lot of kickback and it is messy. This palette is looking really messy. And I'm not liking this brush for what I'm using it for. And I'm not liking that I am feeling like a grease ball. I need to start having tissue. You know what is this friggin' ring light? These suckers are hot. I'm gonna take this domed brush and I'm going to, oh gosh, it's eyeshadow everywhere. I'm going to take Star. I'm trying not to tilt it because this was this is real messy right now. I'm going to take Star and run it also underneath my lower lash line. For reasons that I just want to use this color. I like how, you know, I'm, I'm liking the shimmers, and I like that brown in my crease. This blue is just, like, super messy. I don't even know if you guys can see that. What else do I want to do? I want to take, I'm going to take an Enchantress right here, and I am going to put this under my brow bone. That way I can say I used every color, but I didn't. I didn't use Queen. That way I can say I've used almost every color in this palette. I don't like this as a highlight. <laughs> you know what it is? Cause I missed um, putting primer like right here. Because I did. I usually don't do my brows until after my eyeshadow for this reason. Because 
then I end up brushing over my brows, which I don't like to do. So this is this look without mascara, red line, or whatever. And we're just going to leave it like this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know what variation of BoxyCharm you got. Again, this is variation number six. The Elemis Superfoods Vital Face Mask that everybody got. The Butter London Natural Goddess Palette. The three brushes. Let me know <laughs> what you guys think of this brush. I have never in my life seen such a square blending brush. So let me know what you guys think about these brushes. If you got the, the eyelash curler, if you do curl your lashes, which I never do, so that's why I just gave it away. Um, you know, let, me, let me know how you like that. And let me know which Ofra long lasting liquid lip, which really does still feel good. It doesn't feel tacky. My lips don't feel dry like they're going to crack. I actually forgot I had it on until I saw it sitting over here. I have Santorini. So this is variation number six. Let me know which variation you have. Let me know what you love about this box. I like everything in this box. I'm indifferent about this. <laughs> you saw me just stab my cheek. I, this I'm indifferent about. I've only used it once. But I've actually used everything and was excited for everything in this box. Except for this thing. But it did work well. <laughs> Last month I was going to unsubscribe. I was so unhappy and it was only one thing in the box that I liked which was another gloss. And so this month I'm really excited that I actually used everything in it except one item. And so for $21 for BoxyCharm, this box variation number 6 retails for $135. And to be able to use 4 out of the 5 full size items in here, like that is an awesome deal. And so if you want to hop on the BoxyCharm train, go to their website. I don't even put the link. I don't even know how to put the link. And, you know, I'm not even trying to do all of that. So, but go to BoxyCharm if you want to do that. And thank you for watching. I apologize. This is so long. And so with that, I'm going to go. You'll see me in the next video.